Hey, what's up and welcome everyone to another Call of Duty Modern Warfare video. But instead of talking about the traditional Modern Warfare, we're going to be talking about the much anticipated release of Warzone. And since, despite all of our complaints, Activision isn't giving us much information, I want to talk about what I want to see changed from their previous BR, Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Blackout. So today we're going to be discussing 13 things that I want to see changed from Blackout to what's most likely will be called Warzone. And I want to know what you all want changed. Let me know down in the comments if you agree with any of my changes. And then I'm going to create a pinned comment. I'm going to take all of the suggestions that you all have. And if I really agree with it, I'm like, yeah, that really sucked in Blackout too. I want to add it to my list and I want to create a master list of the things I want changed. But without any further ado, let's get this thing started. The very first thing that I want to add to this game is a ping system. Currently in Blackout, all you can do is ping items that are right next to you, let's say an item or a piece of armor. But what I want to see in Warzone is an ability to ping across the map, ping points of interest or ping enemy rotations. I can't tell you how many times I've been stuck in a match and I've been like, uh, yeah, enemy sighted. He's 230 behind the push, about 200 meters out. He's running left or right. It's a Captain Price skin. Wait, no, no, that's that's Ghost. And I, I, I'm in right, right to left. And that's more of a, a shrub than a bush. But I, I, I'm in 320, not 230. Uh, nah, never, never, never mind. He, he, he's gone. <laughs> I mean, all modern BRs have it. It's a very simple quality of life addition. Pinging where a target is instead of having to do all of these target talk-ons is so much easier. It's great for playing with randoms. Of course, unless the randoms just abuse the ping system when they're down because they pushed on their own and they can't handle the fact that they're actually garbage players who weren't coordinating, but I digress. The second thing I want to get rid of from Blackout to Warzone is one-hit kill frag grenades. The fact that you can get a one-hit kill without even having to see your opponent, and sometimes regardless of level 3 armor or trauma kit, you can one-hit them without even being exposed or seeing an enemy. Like, what is this? It, it makes sense, right? If you have a 50 cal sniper rifle, that is a deserved one-hit kill. Or even like a tomahawk, because there's a huge amount of risk with being that close. I think precision should be rewarded. But an area of effect frag grenade? Come on, man. The third thing I want to see different from Blackout to Warzone is get rid of autonomous killing. And what I mean by this is the sentry turret. Why is this even a thing? How can you possibly have an AI targeting system in a BR? Imagine working your ass off an entire game, perfect rotations, hitting all of your shots, winning every gunfight, and then a sentry gun is sitting on top of a rock in the final circle while little Johnny is behind the rock with a trophy system. But this can possibly be a thing in Warzone. There are leaks out there talking about airstrikes and cluster strikes. Now little Johnny is going to be hiding in a hut, laden with claymores, and then he sets a cluster strike on top of himself in the final circle. It's just, I really, really hope they think this through. I don't think it should be in the game. The fourth thing I would like to see changed is rework friendly fire. In squad games, friendly fire should be in the game. But you have to mitigate it. You can't let teammates be toxic and have that ruin the game. So I really like how Rainbow Six does the mechanic. The first couple times you're hurt by friendly fire, it hurts the teammates. It genuinely hurts the team. But after the third or fourth time, that damage begins reflecting on you and you take the damage. So toxic teammates can only be toxic for so long. And it doesn't even have to do with toxic teammates. Even in completely cooperative teams, without friendly fire, one teammate can be lobbing grenades into a building or launching explosives into a building, and then his teammates can rush in, sprint through, without any damage to them, and it's almost uncounterable if you're on the receiving end of it. The fifth thing I would like to see changed is a new looting system. You can see in the clip above, my hands are having to go crazy in Blackout because of the looting system. Having to navigate through that menu while also jiggling at the same time so I don't get sniped, it's it's so annoying. I think one of the ways you can mitigate this is to have less attachments. Now, I give a lot of credit to Modern Warfare for their incredible gun customization system. It's so much fun. It's the best in any COD ever. But if they transplanted all of that into their Battle Royale, it would be terrible. So... You can either have less attachments and have standardized attachments, or you could have a colored tiered weapon system similar to Fortnite, where different colors, as you work your way up to gold, have different attachments that are better for the gun. I think automatic ammo pickup would also be a huge time saver instead of having to click through each individual ammo type. And then you can drop specific types of ammo for your teammates as necessary. 
I think challenge items should get out of the game. So like the burn doll, the armor pack, all of that stuff wasted so much time. It shouldn't be in the game and take up inventory slots. I love challenges for skins, but I thought that was annoying. And then finally, you could also just have the Fortnite style. You kill someone and then boom, all of their ammo, all of their guns, it all just sprawls out evenly and you can just pick it up individually. That way you can still loot easily. You're not stuck in a menu. I know it may not be as realistic as the people prefer, but it stops It stops a lot of the cumbersome menu attachment galore. It's just, it's just ugly. I'm open to changes. The sixth thing I want to see change is actually the thing that caused me to leave Blackout altogether. A new camouflage progression system is needed. I hate it. The paint can collection system from Blackout. It was the worst imaginable system. Imagine creating a system where you actually are encouraging players to avoid gunfights. There was times where you were rewarded for driving around the map in an ATV because all the paint cans were placed on a road. Players would be avoiding every possible gunfight, driving around, picking up paint cans instead of playing a first person shooter BR. But I don't like to complain without providing an alternative, so there's two things I can see happening here. One, if this is a free to play release, expect microtransactions, you're going to be buying all your skins. But I would also like to see some additions where you get rewarded. Let's say you get X number of kills in a game or X number of placements or a win streak or a really long shot kill and you get a, an amazing unique camo. I think it's cool to walk around with something and strut, not just that you have money and you paid for something, but hey, I got the sniper rifle skin because I hit a 400 meter shot. That's just me. Now, the seventh thing I want to see different between Blackout and Warzone is actually something that's kind of just unique to Warzone in itself. And it's, it's just, I want input based matchmaking. So right now with the status quo is you can limit yourself to cross platform, but I want it to where you can limit yourself to the input that is being used. I don't think there's a big difference between someone playing on console or someone playing on PC. Just, it's just really just graphical performance, but there's a huge difference between someone playing on controller and keyboard and mouse. Now, I don't think any player is inherently better, but there's some advantages and disadvantages to both. I mentioned that in my previous video. Controller players are gonna complain about the precision of keyboard and mouse at range, and keyboard and mouse players are gonna complain about the aim assist of controller players at close range. It's just a thing, and I think players should have the ability to turn off or turn on input-based matchmaking. The eighth thing that I wanna see changed is changing the healing mechanic. Right now, I think healing just takes you out of the action for so long, especially when you're looting for meds. Look at every other BR, Fortnite, man, I need mini shields and big shields and bandages and med kits and campfires. And then I go fishing and pick up fruits and berries from trees and bandage bazookas. It, it's too much. And then Apex, I need shield cells and shield batteries and syringes and med kits and Phoenix kits and heal drones and Watson olds. It's, ah. Maybe there's some sort of auto healing system and you're just picking up armor packs or maybe there's a, a stim that like takes up a grenade slot But it's not something you're actually looting or you know managing your inventory and you just pop that stim in the moment of panic I just I think looting for meds is just I'm over it The ninth thing I want to see change from blackout to warzone is having a stronger zone or gas that pushes you into the final circles now, I think BRs are starting to kind of refine the art of having an aggressive, but still predictable. So it, it gives you time to make your storm rotations, and it, it forces you into an uncomfortable situation, but it's not something that you can't overcome, and it still gives you time to fight. I just really don't want to see a scenario where at one point there was a meta where you could pop Outlander and then just out heal the zone, and it kind of became like the Apex competitive scene with lifelines and med kits outside of it. I just... I really don't want to see that in Modern Warfare. Please, please devs, think through this one ahead of time. The 10th thing that I want to see change is a huge frustration for a lot of people, and that is cheap vehicle kills in the end game. We've all seen the clips of the guys driving around literally doing nothing or running over players in the end game. And I think it's more of an issue with console players because the aim assist locks onto the vehicle funny and it's just harder to make those snap aiming, but it's really tough and it's really cheap. So maybe just disable all vehicles after a certain point. But I also don't want the alternative to be, you know, you can launch one mesh mine at a car and then all of a sudden you're four man wiping an entire squad. There needs to be a middle ground. I think maybe vehicles should be disabled if it gets hit with like a frag or a mesh mine and then the passengers come out a little bit injured. 
but not getting one hit killed by a guy hiding behind a corner with a mesh mine. Not for me. The 11th thing I want to see changed. Mog Nation. It needs to go. I'm sorry, Doug is raw. I hate the Mog. I hate how shotguns have such a big advantage in 1v1s or 2v1s or whatever it is. It allows you to take minimal damage and inflict massive burst damage on your opponents. It's near impossible to counter. If you're using anything other than a Mog and you're going against someone with a Mog or a shotgun, for those of you not familiar with it, it basically... It allows them to peek the corner, take a shot, hide behind it, peek the corner, take a shot. And if you're using anything other than a shotgun, you can't inflict the same amount of damage. And even if you did have a MOG, there's always peeker's advantage where the first person to peek is going to get the damage off first. So if there's a 725 meta in this game, I'm going to lose it. The 12th thing that I want to see change in this game is a respawn system in squads. They started to add this in game modes that were special in Black Ops, but it wasn't in every single game mode. And I think in duos or squads, it should be standard, whether it's the respawn beacon in Apex or the respawn van in Fortnite. It's just nice that when you die, you're not out of the game forever, right? It's not a heartbreaking moment where the individual player, you know, wants to rage quit. And they're, if you're a streamer or a content creator and you die, all of a sudden, all of your content is gone and it's resident sleeper for all your viewers. I, I think there needs to be an alternative. We've heard leaks and rumors of there potentially being a 1v1 gulag mechanic that can get you back into the game, which sounds pretty sick, but I'm holding my breath until the game drops. And finally, number 13. The thing that I want out of the game, probably the second most behind that old camo progression system with the paint cans, from Blackout to Warzone, please, for the love of God, no pay-to-win weapons. That. I understand this game may be free, and you need to make your money, but I will launch a whole bunch of money into skins before I ever launch it into weapons. Guns like the VMP, the Havelina, the Locust were blatantly overpowered in Blackout, and you could get them in one of two ways. You could go through this ridiculous paywall that was incredibly predatory where you're buying loot box after loot box after loot box, or you could get them for free, and I say free with quotations, but that meant months of grinding to unlock everything. And in the meantime, when you're unlocking everything, you're just getting stupid stickers and skins, like stuff that you would never use. And they put that in there as fluff to lower the chance of you getting the guns that actually give you a competitive advantage in the game. Now, credit to Modern Warfare Now, there are no loot boxes in the game to speak of, but it's a free-to-play BR and they gotta make their money, so I just have to put it out there. Please don't let it happen. Guys, what do you think? What are the things that you want changed from Black Ops 4 Blackout to Modern Warfare Warzone or whatever they're gonna call it? What do you want to see changed? What do you want to see different? What's something that Blackout didn't have that you want to see in Modern Warfare? Is there anything that I said that you love? I know I'm gonna get some Mog Nation hate. Let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, if you're getting excited for the new Modern Warfare BR, make sure to hit the like button. I've got a lot of commentary coming out in these next couple of weeks as we gear up for the BR launch. And then when the game drops, expect a lot to come. So make sure to hit that like button if you like this video. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon if you want to know about all the Call of Duty news first. And of course, thank you again for checking out this video, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.